Shinobu explained. Shinobu was born as the youngest daughter within the Kojo household, living alongside her mother, father, and older sister, Kanai Kojo. She was raised in a loving and caring household until her parents were slaughtered by demons right before her and her sister's eyes. And just when the demon was about to take the lives of her and her sister as well, they were saved by Kiyome, who just happened to be in the area. After Kiyome defeated the demon, and now more determined as a result of the pain and suffering they endured, Shinobu and Kanai both promised to become demon slayers to protect each other as well as prevent other people from enduring the same losses they had to experience. Eventually, after managing to move a boulder, they convinced Kyome to introduce them to a teacher. Later in her life, while accompanying her sister one day, Kanao on a trip, the sisters encountered a young girl being led away as a slave on a bridge. Intrigued by her, Kanai took an interest and decided to take the girl back to the butterfly stage against Shinobu's initial wishes. And it's also important to note that Shinobu was way different, at least used to be way different than she is at the moment. They eventually purchased the girl named Kanao from her master and trained her within the butterfly state to become the next Sokaku. At the age of 14, she became the master of the butterfly state in Kanai's place since Kanai died at age 17. Shinobu guarded the girls of the butterfly state as if they were her own little sister, kinda taking the role of Kanai. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my YouTube as I posted a video with Misuri, Openai, and Shinobu kind of going into their past a bit more. That being said, have a good rest of your day. He was exactly like my father. They shared the same mindset. Like a cactus, I've been a real bitch, you the last one laughing.